don't know what time it is, your boy POV Jake, man, we back. And today, we got DDG responding to his ex-girlfriend, Hallie. Now, y'all know Hallie was tweaking on Twitter the other day. She was kind of, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what was going on, but she got mad at DDG for having DDG bring their son on Kai stream in front of millions of people, and she ain't like that. She said DDG should have called. He should have called and be like, look, we finna have to have a halo on the thing and shit. So, like, don't say shit, but... They are the whole world already seen the baby thirty million times already, so it's like, what does it matter? You know what I'm saying? And plus, that's his kid too, so he gotta say so. So I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But this is his response. So let's get into it, man. Let's see what DDG gotta say. Hold on, I love it. I love this, bro. I love the intro to this, bro, cause it's nostalgic feeling, bro. Like, hold on, let's just, hold on. Let me turn this up. Just listen to it. Hold on. Look at that. It's nostalgic, bro. Hold on, let me make sure this recording real quick. I don't want no funny shit. All right. Good, y'all. Welcome back to another video, man. Uh, <coughs> before we get into what I'm about to talk about, um, I have a new song dropping next Friday, What You Bad For, with a feature on it. If you want to know what the feature is, you got to click the pre-save link below. To pre-save, all you do is put your email in. It drops next Friday, 11-15. Do not miss out, okay? One of my favorite songs. I'm reposting okay. all TikToks. I got millions of followers. If you want to get reposted on TikTok, make a TikTok right now. Ladies, dudes, whatever. I repost everything. Make your TikTok to the TikTok sound on my page. And let's run it up. And now we're going to go up next Friday, I promise. That, I'm going to make a TikTok for that shit. But to get into that conversation. um, <clears throat> And this is a little side note. I know a lot of people be saying stuff like, oh, DDG, you doing all this for promo. I just know how to flip negativity into positivity. Like, I don't never want y'all to ever see me sweat. I don't never want y'all to think y'all ever made me lose sleep. And when I say y'all, I mean like the people that talk crazy about me every single day. Yeah, I know I've been getting cyber bullied for the past three years. The average person would have been off themselves. Like, the stuff that I go through online for being a active dad is out of control. Like, I go through stuff that don't even make sense. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Why does this nigga get so much hate, though, y'all? Like, that ass. I be really wondering why. Like, what this man do to get so much hate? Like, he don't do nothing. Like, the thing is, and I go, and I say this about the shade room. The shade room comments be really going at this nigga, and it's all black people on the shade room, bro. And it's like, damn, y'all get mad at black men when they when they don't date black women. Then y'all still get mad at a nigga dating black woman. And then it's just like y'all just be mad that it's always gonna be something negative to say about niggas, bro. On that shade room. Don't go to that shade room, cause that shade room be light his ass up. I swear they do. I don't know what it is or why, but they just do not like bro. Point this now where crazy. my skin is so damn thick, bro. Like <clears throat> nothing really gets to me anymore. You know, so that's why when I get into situations like this, I'm a promoter song. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a do whatever because I'm not gonna let you make me feel like I'm not working. I work through the hard times. It's called keeping your head up. It's called fighting through hard times and and you know persevering and stuff like that. So Thanks. I've been dealing with adversity for the past three, four years um, for nothing. You know. Truthfully, like, I've been getting hated on for so long. So it's like, it is what it is. But one thing I don't like when people do, I don't like when people hate on Hallie. I don't care if people think she wrong or not, or if I think she wrong or right. She could be going through something mentally after having a kid that I can't understand as a man. Wow. So when situations like this happen, I, ha I try to handle it with as much grace as possible because... Halo needs her, you know. I need her. We we need each other to create a a childhood that's safe and fun and memorable for him. And Halo is the biggest blessing in my life. Like I I don't know. Like I don't remember what life was like before Halo. And I wouldn't have him if it wasn't for Hallie. And for that reason alone, like I got unconditional love and respect for her that nobody can really change and 
Y'all gotta understand, we going Damn. through a very different transition right now. We only been parents for 10 months. Now we going through like a little breakup, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all gotta understand, we going through something, you know, that's a little, you know, it's hard for us. So when little stuff like this happen, it's really nothing. People go through this type of stuff all the time. I just don't appreciate when people try to put me against her or it's like me versus wow, her bro. and all of this. I'm surprised. She's wrong and he's right, blah, blah, blah. Like, <coughs> y'all can hate on me for as long as y'all want, but leave Hallie alone, man. Mentally, y'all don't know what she's going through when it comes to postpartum. She just pushed the whole human out. A job corps you could work Damn, towards your career. Damn, that, that was a, a interest, I'm not an interest, that was actually like a dope response. I didn't expect that. She's dealing with a whole new life. Like, she has to put everything, you know, not on pause, but she has to always consider Halo in every situation. I do too. But, you know, as a mother, I know it's way more detrimental. So, I got way thicker skin. My skin is just overly tell me why that's crazy bro i'm not gonna lie that's a w ass response like i ain't gonna lie to you because i ain't gonna lie when I, I was talking shit you know what i'm saying like i was like bro why she tweaking not like that but just like i'm like she tweaking bro like what is she doing like what why is she mad at the dg but this right here you can't be even mad at this now if y'all got anything negative to say about this response y'all just Y'all already be hating, but do y'all just, y'all really hate this nigga. If y'all really got anything negative to say about this response, that'd be crazy. That'd be the most, bro, I'd be so like, y'all that's just hating just because y'all want to fuck him. That's the problem. The girls that's hating, they want to fuck DG, bro. That's the problem. Because there's no way, this is a, this is a grown ass, mature ass response. This ain't no little boy shit. Like, this is actually very mature. Shout out to DG. This was actually, this was a lesson that everybody should learn about baby mamas and baby daddies. Even that she was kind of not like kind of blasting him a little bit on social media, he still came back and was like, nah, I ain't doing that. Hey, he got he got mind control over himself, bro. Like he not out of control. He not OC. He not letting the people Hallie get him out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? This is smart, bro. Y'all take notes, bro, for real. Oh, that backlash. But I know for her, it's something very, very new. And I just, I'm just asking <coughs> y'all just to chill. And let's go back to regular scheduled programming. Like, no one's perfect. We are only humans. So, I just don't like it. Don't like it, y'all. That doesn't do me any good whatsoever. Me and her getting into it is no good for nobody. Either one of us. So we are family. That is my family forever. And um we gonna figure it out. Plain and simple. Um with that being said, we're gonna get back to the smiles and the good times and the entertainment. I need y'all to do me a favor, comment below some video ideas. Um, I'm trying to bring y'all that spark back, man. I'm trying to bring y'all that that feeling back. You feel me? That y'all used to get when y'all used to watch me when y'all was YNs. You know? We used to come home from school and you used to watch DDG every day. We used to finish a video and then all of a sudden you get another notification for a whole other video on three different channels. You know what I'm saying? I always kept you smiling and entertained. I want to bring that back. So I'm posting every single working. day. And uh, I know lately, maybe the past two years, like, I've really just been, like, collabing with just, like, maybe my family or, you know, whatever. But now I'm opening a door to whatever. Like, I'm collabing with people now, not just one gender, you know. That's good. And now it's like, you know. That's good. We got a whole new, new, you know, new, whole new arsenal of possibilities for entertainment and content. So... Any ideas y'all got, let's do it. You feel me? I'm on it. Um, and let's try to let's try to separate real life from entertainment. I want y'all to look at my blogs as a TV, TV show. You know, that's why it's called a channel. Look at my vlogs, it's like a TV show, man. Don't look at it as like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Even if you know, you might watch Spider-Man and hate the Green Goblin, but that don't mean you need to hate the actor. You feel me? 
So let's keep it all on the channel. Let's keep it all on the TV show. And uh, don't be alarmed by what I post. And just keep it entertainment. You feel me? I'm saying this off of the, the, the context of the McDonald's video that I did. And uh, a I lot knew of people he was, was talking tripping. about that video. Well, not a lot of people. A lot of people understand that it was, you know, it was cool. But, you know, some people was tripping and trying to put two and two together of my real life and whatever I do online. Let's just try to separate it a little more and just take it as entertainment as it is. And um, That's a shame, bro. That's it. Comment below what y'all think I should do um, and who I should collab with. I would love to know. But I love y'all, man. I ain't going to keep yapping about this situation. Go get y'all them RTA clothes, man. RTA.com slash collection slash I ain't going to lie. Them shirts, um, them I don't shirts know hard. if this promo code still works, but it's called Don't Share DDG. It's like a secret. But don't. If it don't work, then it's too late. But if it work, use it. You get 20% off. So I don't know if it still works or not. I'm sure it's low key hard as hell. I kind of want to break into cybersecurity, but don't have experience. Though, the so Google like, Cybersecurity oh. Certificate uses real world. Like, for not, but go do you go go try Look. it. All the clothes is online right now. But I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all so much, and I see y'all either later on the day or tomorrow. Deuces. That nigga look like a mixture of Halle and DDG, like both of them niggas. Like. You know what I'm saying? Get on my face. Yeah, we don't know how much footage we gonna get in here. You know, they be tripping on the cameras. You gotta keep it low, Johnny. Here, here you go, madam. Thank you, sir. Ladies first. Thank you, sir. I'm comfortable with my mask. Bitches first. Jokes like that don't bother me. Hoes first? <laughs> <laughs> you will get arrested <coughs> when it comes. As y'all can see, I'm rocking the RTA DDG jacket. There's no logo on it. If you don't want to wear my face or my name, you ain't got to. But I'm still going to give you the crop. They got it for this. You ain't got to wear my face. You ain't got to wear my logo, man. This one of those ones, though. I understand that. I get it. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm a fashion icon, so I'll be trying to, like, tell them what I will wear. You know what I'm saying? Please, bro, listen to me. You go this hoodie right here, it's $100, bro. No more, bro, $100 for a hoodie is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Like, that shit should never be $100, bro. Most shit should be at least $50, bro. That's it. That's why the RTA, I ain't gonna lie, I'm still debating on buying that motherfucker. But that shit, I looked it up. I'm gonna try that promo code. I didn't even know that was promo code, but I'm gonna look that shit up today. Right on that today, right when I get off here, I'm gonna look it up. That shit was a hundred dollars, bro, for a shirt. I said, damn. The most I spend on a shirt is like thirty five to forty, and I go to Zara for my shirt. So like a hundred or eighty dollars for a shirt, man. I don't know, bro. Like fifty to max. Like fifty if I really want it. Fifty max, but like a hundred and ten or like eighty bucks. Oh, that's tough. And this sweater, that sweater, that's a basic ass sweater, and that shit a hundred dollars. For what? That shit crazy. Please hell, just bro. try it on. Look at that, bro. A hundred dollars? It's not about what's on the hoodie, it's about the cut. RTA DDG out now online. I like selling clothes. Man, this shit fun. I really don't want to buy nothing if it ain't your shit though. Like that's what I've been thinking. We I might could. go to we might go to Neiman's. I can give you my shit. For free? You, that hell. Are you serious? <laughs> For real? No, no, I'm not joking. Please, I don't get that. That, that bitch so weak. I am not even lying. I don't know what he was talking about. That bitch get dirty so fast. What the f? <laughs> Is I'm lying though? Bitch, we. Too late. Two breaks. I ain't gonna Too lie. Late. Ryan Fit and T.O. Fit, I ain't gonna lie. They gotta do better. I ain't gonna lie. Cause them niggas. The way that I'm looking at these two niggas' outfits, this shit is all over the place, bro. I know they probably just popping out, but goddamn, nigga, y'all could at least, you feel me, put on some, I know y'all got some better shit. I know y'all do, bro. Y'all got to just, bro, this outfit these niggas got on, I am not, bro. This shit look crazy as hell. It look tacky as fuck. Come on, y'all. Uh, I know y'all got that shit for real. Come on, man. <laughs>
do it. Bust on your brother real quick. Get <laughs> away from me. Bro. I make sure the camera is good. Let's see back. Change your mind. Yeah, I'm good. Right, oh, yeah, he changed the shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you're bust, don't you? Hey, little come on here real quick. Hello, hey, little mama. Don't play with me. You hear me. Look at the fuck over here. And they got bust on. She ain't just talking to you. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, I'm about to start wearing glasses. Fun fact about these glasses, this is my older brother glasses. Real man passed look. down to me. Real man I just never wore them. Now that I got them on, bad, I feel like that boy and man. I got a fortune cookie today. And the message says something that's really, really impactful. And I feel like you should hear it. My nail's not done, y'all. Don't look at them. You see it? Mm -hmm. That bitch blurred in the bitch. Oh. That nigga's blind. A friend's advice is invaluable. Stop listening to your friends. You know what's best for you. Great message. Yeah. Advice is invaluable. Why is that? That fortune cookie said. Don't listen to your friends. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. You know what's best for you. Thank you. That's great advice. Appreciate that. And the expression, I need to sponsor me. I'm really pushing the culture. Y'all fortune cookie sales gonna go up. I ain't gonna lie. That's that's a fact though. Like this shit for the end. Let me tell you this right now. Listen to friends can really fuck you up. Especially depending on what advice they give. Because some advice can be good from friends. I ain't gonna lie. But certain shit. Let's say if you... It, I'll just say about this. If you chasing your dreams and shit, your friends will really bring you down, bro. Like, that ass. Like, they'll be like... Like, I don't think it's a bad thing in a way where it's like... They, they saying like, you never go make... They might as well say that. But if they be like... Maybe you should, have you thought about trying to go to school? Or let's say, like, have you ever thought about trying to just do something else other than that? Because, like, that lane kind of, like, they don't believe in it in a way. You can't listen to that. Because then that's how niggas get discouraged and shit. Like, and when they start saying it like that, they basically saying, like, shit, I don't know. I don't see you making it. That's why I, I be real low-key about my goals and shit. Like, I don't be telling people, like, I be doing, like, YouTube that much. Like, I don't really spread it to my friends. Like, they they know I do it, but I don't tell them how much I do it. They don't know I do it every day just because of that reason. Because I don't want them trying to shit on my dreams. Even my family. You know what I'm saying? My mom knowing shit, but, like, my mom supported me and all that. But, like, just, like, a lot of my other family members, like, I would never tell them, like, a bunch of stuff. Because they'll be, like, kind of, like, weird about it. Like, you should, you need to... You need to go back to school, especially my aunties. Oh hell, no, I would never tell. I would not tell them, for real. I wouldn't, cause they'll be like, "You don't you think you should go to school?" Like they'll be on that type of shit. I ain't got time, so I feel that. But W video from DDG. This was a, a grown man, a grown man response to Hallie and to to the internet, bro. Just like he ain't, he ain't let this shit get to him, and that's what you want to do all the time. Your girl started tweaking. Don't you ain't gotta react. You ain't got to react in a way where it's like you yelling or going back and forth from home on the internet or, well, not, well, for them, they famous, so it's different, but even in person, like, you ain't got to go back and forth with her. She overreacting, she doing too much, let her do too much over there and tell her when she ready to talk, then we can talk type shit. So, that was good. That was a W response for sure. I fuck with that. But, anyways, y'all, y'all know what time it is. I'm finna get up out of here. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video, but make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, man. I'm gonna see y'all on the next one.